My name is Tom Thiel. I work at Fox Valley Technical College in Appleton, Wisconsin, in the Learning Innovations Department, where one of the things we do is build virtual reality training simulations. But I've never tried recreating paintings in virtual reality. Until now. I met with Lee Mothies and looked at a lot of his work to get some ideas. I wanted to do more than just put the paintings within a virtual reality scene. Do more than just place two-dimensional images within a 3D environment. I wanted people to be placed right inside the paintings and be totally immersed. For example, in this painting of the ruins, you are placed inside the painting and you can walk around, explore, hear the wind and the birds and the trees, and even walk the trail to the ocean. One of my favorite pieces was the one of the art gallery and the land office. And I thought the New Island Art Gallery would be the perfect location to use as home base for this virtual reality experience. Everything in this scene had to be made by hand. A 2D object in a 3D scene just wouldn't look right. Just to make this book, I'd have to take an image for the back cover and apply it to an object. Then for the pages in between, I'd have to take a shape to fill the area where the pages are. And then build a cover using the cover of Lee's book. And even the spine. And then the three-dimensional book can be placed in the scene. Recreating Lee's art in virtual reality was challenging. He has a style of his own. I couldn't just purchase pre-existing 3D models of buildings or bridges because they wouldn't look anything like what Lee had painted. I had to make things from scratch. The bike rack in this scene was completely made up out of basic cylinder shapes. On the technical side, I used Unity 3D software for this whole project. Anyone who's interested in virtual reality can get started with the free version of Unity. I believe Fox Valley Tech offers a course in game building with Unity. I had to write a few basic scripts in C-sharp, which is a programming language, for things like changing the scenes when a painting is touched, and teleporting back to the main scene, and things like the movement of some objects in the scene. So when you put on the headset, you will be in the art gallery on New Island. In front of you on the wall, there are five different paintings. You will be using the Oculus hand controllers to walk around the room and walk up to a painting. Then put your hand up to the painting and see what happens. You'll be inside the painting for about a minute. So you'll have a little time to do some exploring. Then you'll automatically go back to the main scene. The thumb controller on the left moves you forward and backward. The thumb controller on the right turns you from side to side. You'll use these two thumb controllers to move around in the scenes. Welcome to the gallery on New Island. Try touching each of the paintings on the wall for a 30 second experience. This was a really fun project to build and I really hope you enjoy being immersed in Lee Mothy's New Island. <laughs>